Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Dito sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer. At laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang mga challenges. Kaya naman stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Ang ating apat na daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una si Luis. Luis is a mechanical engineering student from PUP. He likes biking, reading manhwa, and sleeping late para makanap habang nag online class. Sunod naman ay si Ria. Ria is a third-year BA Theater Art student in UP Diliman. She loves musical theater and is a jazz singer. Her current favorite artist is Louis Ve. She is fascinated with French language and hopes to be able to sing operas in the language and become a fluent speaker in the future. Up next, we have Ju. Ju is a first-year BS Statistics student in UP Diliman. She loves salted egg chips and happy lemon milk tea. She's also part of a UP organization named Kapwa UP, which is dedicated to giving campus animals a good life and a forever home. And finally, we have Moy. Moy is a BA Theater Arts Performance major from UP Diliman. He is a singer and an actor for theater and film. His hobbies include playing musical instruments and playing sports such as volleyball, badminton, and cycling. He loves OPM bands such as Eraserheads and Four of Spades. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics from UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santelian, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Get ready to buzz in. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. What type of book did Noah Webster publish in 1758 that gave him lasting fame up to this day? Boy. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia is wrong. Anyone can steal? Yeah. Dictionary. Dictionary is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. After 60 years of studying their social interactions, Jane Goodall is acknowledged as the foremost expert on what apes? Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. Chimpanzees is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. In what continent did the Inca and Nazca civilizations flourish? Moy. Africa. Africa is wrong. Anyone can steal? Luis. Europe. Europe is wrong. Joe. South America. South America is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What 2024 number one song of Sabrina Carpenter has a one-word title that means a strong black coffee, Ria? Espresso. Let me proceed. Strong black coffee brewed by forcing hot water under pressure through finely ground beans. You said espresso. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What number is twice the square root of 121? Jew. 22. 22 is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Which Swiss folk hero refused to bow to an Austrian official's hat on a pole and thus was punished by being forced to shoot an apple off the head of his young son? The correct answer is William Tell. Question number seven. What word is a musical instruction to play a piece loudly or a noun that means strong point? Moy. Forte. Forte is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. 
what country's civil war ended with the surrender of General Robert E. Lee in 1865. The correct answer is United States or USA. Question number nine. Taken from an old name of Sri Lanka, what word means the fact of finding interesting or valuable things by chance? The correct answer is serendipity. Question number 10. Sitsiritsit is the Tagalog word for which insect, which also emerges in the USA by the trillions every 15 years? Yeah. Saikeda. Saikeda or Sikada is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. What title, meaning great soul, was bestowed upon Indian leader Mohandas Gandhi? The correct answer is Mahatma. And we're off to our last question, number 12. At fourth spot, what is the eight-letter title of the highest-placed single of Taylor Swift in the Billboard Global 200 year-end chart for 2023? The correct answer is Antihero. And that ends our round number one. So after that round, let's do a scores recap. Ria is in the lead with 30 points, followed by Ju with 20 points, and followed by Luis and Moy with 10 points each. Two more rounds to go, and in the end, we will reveal our weekly winner. Itutuloy ang competition sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Ria is in the lead with 30 points, followed by Ju with 20 points, and Luis and Moy with 10 points each. And now, it's time for round 2. Contestants, remember, there is a twist in this round. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Good luck! Let's begin! This is round two, question number one. In June 2024, United States President Joe Biden ordered the closure of the U.S. border to asylum seekers from what country? Ria. Palestine. Palestine is wrong. Anyone can steal? Luis. Germany. Germany is wrong. Jew. Israel. Israel is wrong. Okay, any guess? Okay, the correct answer is Mexico. Just south of USA. Okay, question number two. What is the surname of the German craftsman credited with the invention of the movable type printing press in the 15th century? The correct answer is Gutenberg or Johannes Gutenberg. Question number three. What is the colorful title of the 1877 novel written by Anna Sewell that is subtitled The Autobiography of a Horse? The correct answer is Black Beauty. Question number four. What is the name of the prison located on an island two kilometers from San Francisco, USA that was closed in 1963? The correct answer is Alcatraz. Question number five. What secret society was created by Jose Rizal in Spain with the goal of Philippine representation to the Spanish Parliament? Ria. La Solidaridad. La Solidaridad is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is La Liga Filipina. Question number six. What popular painkilling drug derived from a reaction between acetic acid 
and salicylic acid was developed by Bayer and Company in the late 19th century. Paracetamol. Paracetamol is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is aspirin. Question number seven. In 1917, the United States purchased the Virgin Islands from which Northern European country? The correct answer is Denmark. Question number eight. Fill in the blank with a three-letter interjection. A point in time when one has a sudden insight or realization is called an, a blank moment. The correct answer is, aha. Question number nine. During the 5th century BCE, the Peloponnesian War was fought between Sparta and what other Greek city-state? Athens. Athens is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In 2012, Guinness World Record certified the world's largest crocodile in captivity to be a long reptile that was caught in Agusan. What is the name of this crocodile, Moy? Lolong. Lolong is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. What nut used in muesli and praline composes 13% of Nutella? Yeah. Hazelnut. Hazelnut is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. Take me to the river is a 2024 hit song of which female singer who shot to fame in 2012 with her debut single, Royals? Lord. Lord is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number two. So after that round, we score recap. Tayo. Drew is now in the lead with 50 points, followed by Moy with 30 points, Ria with 20 points, and Luis, hawal tayo sa susunod na round. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check! Points recap tayo. Ju is in the lead with 50 points, followed by Moy with 30 points, Ria with 20 points, and Luis with 0 at the moment. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Let's go for those points and for the win. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. It is an important material because of its hardness and workability. However, the color of brass changes easily when exposed to air. So, brass gets discolored in air because of the presence mainly of which of the following gas? A. Oxygen B. Carbon C. Carbon dioxide D. Nitrogen or E. Hydrogen sulfide yeah. Oxygen Mali Anyone can steal? Two. C. Carbon dioxide Mali din Why? B. Carbon Mali D. Nitrogen Mali. <laughs> Hydrogen sulfide pala. Yeah. At least nag-attempt lahat. Go, fighting. Okay, so, um, although nag-change naman sa oxygen like other metals, but mainly it's because of the hydrogen sulfide. Salamat, Prof. Marian. Prof. Neil, next question, please. This disputed group of islands in Japan 
causes China's aggressive military stance in the East China Sea. A. Koizumi B. Murayama C. Noda B. Senkaku E. Yoshiniko Tawag rin sa mga islang ito ay Pinnacle Islands or Jiaoyu Islands. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Sankako. Thank you. Prof. Sophie, next question. What way of cooking and serving rice on woven leaves was once culturally important among pre-Hispanic Filipinos as offerings to the spirits and as an extension of the basic skill of weaving among women. A. Bibingka B. Biko C. Puso D. Puto E. Suman C. Puso Okay, so Puso, have you actually seen Puso? It's cooked rice no? inside this woven ball. No? It's very portable, it's organic, and it's biodegradable. No? So, okay, check. Thank you. Now we're off to our second round. Prof. Marian. Gusto ko nag-jogging eh. So, if I can cover walking lang pala, a distance of 500 meters in 10 minutes, if I walk at the same speed, how many minutes do I need to cover 2 kilometers? A. Wala pa palong choices. Uh, 40 minutes. Okay. So, let me finish. The choices are A. 20 minutes B. 25 minutes C. 30 minutes D. 40 minutes or E. 60 minutes So, mukhang nag-kumon math ka ba? mental math um, you have distance over time as the speed so if it's 2,000 meters per x time it should be equal to 500 meters over 10 the minutes and 2 kilometers is 2,000 meters so the correct answer is 40 minutes okay check thank you Prof Neil next question Sa anong rehiyon bahagi ang mga siyudad ng Dapitan, Dipolog at Pagadian? A. Barm B. Caraga C. Northern Mindanao B. Soxargen E. Sambuanga Peninsula Bahagi ng rehiyong ito ang mga probinsya ng Sambuanga del Norte, Sambuanga del Sur at Sambuanga Sibugay. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Sambuanga Peninsula. Thank you. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. In 1991, the British artist Damien Hirst exhibited a 14-foot tiger shark preserved in formaldehyde in a clear display case with the title The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living What is this type of art called? A. Collage B. Abstract Impressionist C. Conceptual Installation D. Soft Sculpture E. Pop Art See conceptual installation. Um, yes, no, um, because it makes you want to think. No, why would anyone want to put this huge shark, no, in a tank and give it um, a very philosophical title? So the correct answer is C conceptual installation. K okay, check. Okay, thank you. So we are halfway done. Let's do a quick scores recap. At the moment, Drew is in the lead with 65 points, followed by Moy with 45 points, Luis with 15 points, and Ria with 5 points. But in the next two rounds, last two rounds, we have 180 points that we can do. Simulan na natin ang third round, Prof. Marian. 
the first 30 points over 180. Anong fraction yan? Okay. Jude. <laughs> Which of the following is not presently a mammal endemic to the Philippines? A. Flying fox B. Tamarau C. Tarsier D. Leopard or E. Tiger A. Flying fox Mali Oy. D. Leopard Mali E. Tiger Okay, so mukhang ta obvious na, di ba, na Tamarau and Tarsier, we have them, right? I hope you know that. Yes. Flying fox. We have flying foxes in the Philippines, but actually, flying foxes are not foxes. They're giant or mega bats. And they're found, at least the golden uh, crowned giant bat is found only in the Philippines. So proud tayo dapat. Sabi sa Boracay. Boracay, oh. yeah. Ito yung mga mukhang aswang daw. They think aswang siya. Now, leopard. We have leopards. And these are the Palawan and Visayan leopards. Ang tiger lang natin ay nasa zoo. So, the correct answer is E, tiger. Okay, check. Thank you. Wow, may leopard pala sa Pilipinas. Okay. Prof. Neil. What is the science and art of identifying and decoding seals? A. Diplomatics B. Numismatics C. Paleography D. Prosopography E. Sigilography C. Paleography Luis, umabot pa? Oh, hold on. Umabot. Umabot. Luis, go ahead. C. Paleography Mali. Anyone can steal? Jude? E. Sigilography Pwedeng pa ulit sa sagot ni Jude? E. Sigilography E. E. Sig sigilography okay. Tamang sagot ay letter E. Sigilography K-check Thank you. Prof. Sophie, next question please. A classic 1950 movie by Akira Kurosawa tells the story of a bandit's ambush of a samurai and his wife as retold by various characters who give contradictory accounts of the event what is the title of this movie a eternal sunshine of the spotless mind b rashomon c 12 angry men d seven samurai E. Dreams Luis, D. Seven Samurai Mali po. Anyone can steal? Okay, so actually yung Rashomon effect um, it's, it's already entered, no? Um, culture, popular culture. Pinanggit na nga siya ni Homer Simpson, no? If there's one story, and then there's several versions of it. No? It's called the Rashomon Effect. And it came from this, ano? It came from this movie. Thank you. So now we're off to our last round with 90 points left. Prof. Marian. Last question. What term is used for animals? which eat mainly raw fruits and succulent parts of a plant like roots, shoots, and seeds. A. Carnivore B. Omnivore C. Herbivore D. C. Herbivore C. Herbivore Mali. Let me finish. D. Frugivore or E. None of the above. B. Omnivore Mali Ria E. None of the above Mali Jude <laughs> D. Frugivore 
Parang wala na ata ano. Ano pa hindi? Ah, carnivore kasi sure kayo na ang carnivore kumakain ng karne. Okay? <laughs> Omnivore, they eat both meat and plants. Ang herbivore, plants only. Vegan, frugivore, fruits. So, the correct answer is D, frugivore. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, for your last question, please. This agreement signed in 1951 has long been the basis of the relations between the Philippines and the United States. A. Roosevelt Constitution B. Laurel-Langley Agreement C. Military Basis Agreement D. Mutual Defense Treaty E. Tidings McDuffie Act Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Mutual Defense Treaty. And now we're off to our last question for this round, Prof. Sophie. In architecture, the pyramids are to ancient Egypt as the ziggurats are to A. The Indus Valley B. Huanghe Valley C. Greece D. Mesopotamia yeah. D. Mesopotamia um, E. Mesoamerica um, Ziggurats are step temple towers But the pyramids are, well, they look smooth, no? But the ziggurats have steps, no? And they're temple towers And they were built 4,000 years ago in Mesopotamia Okay, check! And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Congratulations to Ju, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 155 points. Congratulations. And of course, thank you also to Luis, to Ria, and to Moy. Palakpakan natin sila. Thank you for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Sophie. Once again, I'm Jules Giang. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check. <laughs>